It's absolutely insane that this inverter is as high quality and works so well for the price they're selling it at. I just can't believe it. This inverter is from Jumpa. And it may just be the absolute best bang for your buck inverter out on the market right now. You can see here, we're getting ready to do a bunch of testing and stuff on it. I've already done a little testing ahead of time and this thing is insane. High quality, good price, and insanely quiet. Let me show you what comes in this box with this Jumpa inverter. We've got a Cat 5E cable. We've got some documentation here. We've got some DC cables uh, rated for at two gauge. And we've got uh, this remote uh, screen as well as uh, on off switch. And here's the inverter itself. Got a nice uh, display screen here. We've got uh, some fan ports here. And we've got uh, these nice uh, covers that uh, come off and there is where you connect your batteries. Negative here, positive here. And then on the other end here, we've got two AC plugs. We've got uh, a multi-position switch. Here's where the remote screen plugs into, USB type A, USB type C. And then uh, if you can see underneath that and that orange thing, we've got a terminal block uh, to hardwire loads to. And so you know, this is a slow charge, 2.1 amp USB type A port and just an 18 watt type C port. So they claim that uh, it will run over 100% to capacity up to 115% for up to 60 seconds before it shuts down. 116% to 150% will only run three seconds before it shuts down. If you overload it uh, 151 to 200%, it will run for one second and turn off. And then anything over 200% is 200 milliseconds and then it shuts off. If there's a dead short, it uh, is going to try to shut down within three seconds. One thing to note is if you get the 3080 watt inverter, which is what uh, I've got right here, they do recommend uh, pairing two two gauge wires up with each other just to handle the potential current draw that uh, this draws if you're using 12 volt batteries. Note that they only send you one set of two gauge cable. Guys, this is why I like Jumpa inverters. They've really done a nice job with their construction. Just off the bat, notice all the heat sinks. That contributes to how quiet these inverters are. One of my favorite features though is the fact that if you pay attention, look right down here, right here, right here, they actually use solid bus bars to conduct the DC current to the inverter. They don't use wires, which I really like. Something else that uh, they've done a really good job on on this uh, unit is now that they're feeding the terminal block separate with its own wires from the board down here and there's separate wires that are coming up to feed the 120 volt outlets in a previous uh, version as uh, both the outlets and the block were being fed off the same wires and uh, now they're all feeding off the main lugs with their own wires which is much much better so it's a very high quality high frequency inverter Ideally in your system, you guys want a uh, battery that uh, can handle surge loads well, as well as the inverter. So we're gonna see if uh, both of these can handle starting a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. This thing has an insane surge. I will hopefully uh, be able to capture it here on the Victron Smart Shunt. It may not be fast enough, but uh, let's see uh, what happens if we're able to start it or not. So I didn't quite uh, capture it. Be able to start this massive 15,000 BTU air conditioner. It has just a crazy amount of surge. That is very, very impressive. Some of these inverters are just bonkers loud. Well, Junpa's got that figured out. So check it out, 1800 watts currently being pulled. And let me hear you, let you hear what the Junpa inverter sounds like. It's incredibly, incredibly quiet. So just for fun, I've hooked up the old Jumpa inverter I had. You can see it doesn't have a screen, but I wanna show you the uh, difference in noise as well. So we've got the same loads and listen to the difference. To be clear, this old one was is not obnoxiously loud or anything, but uh, it is substantially louder than the new one. Go for the new one all day long. Super happy that they came out with this new and improved version. The other really nice thing about this setup is you have this remote control uh, display. So you can just uh, run it off a standard ethernet cable. It comes with one 
and uh, if you simply flip the main switch down to the little remote icon, you can easily just flip the switch on this, and as you see, it boots right up, and you get a readout on the remote. So very handy if you're building a 12 volt system like in an RV or something, and wanna have this in your uh, control panel. All right, I've got the smart shut pulled up on my phone, and I'm gonna put a screen recording up on the screen here so you guys can see what's happening. Right now, nothing is turned on at all, and I'm going to unplug this heater just so we can see that the heater is pulling no power whatsoever. Something amazing about the Joompa inverter is how crazy efficient it is at standby. Notice that it is only pulling six watts of energy to be on standby. I'm gonna show you a different inverter momentarily with a significantly higher standby consumption. If you're burning all your power trying to just keep your inverter on, that's a problem because you want as much of the power as you possibly can from your battery to go to powering your loads. So finding a very efficient inverter is definitely the answer. I've got a big, huge, low frequency 3000 watt inverter. So technically it's rated lower than the Joompa. The Joompa is rated to 3080. This one's rated to just 3000. It makes a racket uh, when I turn it on. And as you can see, nothing is plugged into the outlet right here, okay? I've got uh, the Victron Smart Shunt uh, hooked up here. And if you take a look and see, this inverter is consuming 51 watts in idle. So you're going to burn through a whole bunch of extra power just keeping this inverter on compared to the more efficient Joompa inverter. You're also going to spend a crap ton of money on an inverter like this. Low frequency inverters have their place, but the high frequency inverters are getting so good now and they're so much cheaper, I think it's a no brainer. All right, we are going to do heavy load testing on this Joompa inverter quick. Dual cables hooked up to some bus bars and then these two uh, giant 12 volt batteries. Uh, these can easily discharge uh, over 3000 watts. So uh, this should be plenty good power for this. And the heavy loads we're gonna use is this electric space heater and this heat gun. Let's go ahead and uh, fire the heater up here. Looks like that's around uh, 1300 watts. Next, let's go ahead and uh, turn the heat gun on here. Uh, over 2000 per minute there. The cool thing about this heat gun is it's variable, so I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the temperature a little bit. There's 2500, 23. Let's give the heat gun some more power here. 26. Let's keep giving it more power. Heat gun can go more. There's the heat gun's max, 1200. You can see it's glowing hot. Heater's still on high. And you can see generally we're holding steady at about uh, 2600 watts. It'll run this all day, no problem. Not even breaking a sweat. All right, I need to figure out how to load this more. Hang on a sec. All right, the heater and the heat gun weren't quite enough to give us the power we need, so I'm gonna fire up the microwave here. Go five minutes. All right, that's 1400 watts. Let's fire up the heat gun. 2800, even still, we can't uh, load this inverter all the way down. That's crazy. Okay guys, do not, under any circumstance, put heavy loads through a plug strip like that. It's not rated for this. However, I'm only gonna be running this for a short period of time and I just need a few more plugs on this inverter to get it up to its max, hopefully. Five minutes on the microwave. Full power on the heat gun. 2800 again, almost 29. Now we're gonna hit this heater. There we go. And shut down, nice. That's what we like to see. Overload protection. Turn this back on. All right, let me see if I can get a little closer to that. Let's uh, let's turn the heat gun down. Turn down like 400 something, so it's pretty light. Now let's go ahead and uh, crank the heat as high as it will go. Okay, now let's go hit the microwave. There we go. 2904. All right, let's go ahead and apply some heat to the heat gun. Oh, look at that. 3100, 3200, and it turned off again. So it has very tight tolerances, which is very good. It does shut down and protect itself well. Let's try one more time and see if we can get it uh, close to its full rated output. Okay, we're starting out at 15, 1600-ish. Let's come start the microwave. Uh, 3,000, 
2,900, 3,100, 2,900. It's right on the cusp. We've got the alarm, but it's still staying on. So I think this is about as high as we can get it with these loads. But it does hold a 3,000-ish watt load. It just makes a very loud beep when you get that close. Let's go ahead and shut the heat gun down. See, without the heat gun, we drop down to like the 2,900-ish watt range. That uh, keeps it happy and uh, stops it from screaming. So anyway, very, very good performance. It will go a little past what it's rated for, so long as it's not there for very long, and it is very good at protecting itself and shutting down. Joompa is awesome because they want to help viewers of There's a Trick for That become more energy independent. So they are actually wanting to give away three of their inverters to three viewers of my channel. Now I like to reward people who are fully invested and interested in this kind of stuff and so I actually left instructions for how to enter the giveaway on a different recent video. I'll give you that uh, hint. Uh, a lot of you have already uh, found it and uh, done what uh, you need to do to enter but uh, I'd encourage uh, the rest of you that uh, maybe didn't have a chance to go and watch some of my recent videos and uh, see if you can find the way to enter to potentially win one of these awesome inverters. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hype the videos. That way I can keep bringing this uh, free content to you guys and uh, hopefully helping you out with some uh, cool, high quality, inexpensive stuff like this. I sure appreciate all of you. Stay safe and we'll catch y'all next time.